Greetings, Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and I'm here with my newly rooted Amazon Kindle Fire HD. Now, uh, just to give you kind of a proof that I'm rooted, you'll notice I have the uh, Super User APK here, as well as uh, ES File Explorer, which will uh, go on into that here, and I'll show you in the settings that it did give me the ability uh, to turn on root, mount the file system, and do all that fun stuff. So uh, yes, I do have root access on this device. I'll even go up and uh, show you I can get into the system folder and app and all that. So that, that's all well and good. Uh, let's see how we actually do this. Now there are uh, a few prerequisites. Uh, prerequisite number one is that on your actual device, you are going to want to go into the menu up at the top, drag it down, and go to More. Under More, you go to Security, and you need to enable ADB. Now, that allows the uh, computer to talk to the device uh, differently than it just transferring files. So enable ADB is step number one. Step number two is to have ADB installed on your computer. If you do not already have ADB installed, I happen to have a video in my YouTube channel on how to install ADB. So please get yourself onto that. Uh, that is going to be a, a necessary step to get root on this device. Now once ADB is installed, there are two other files that you need to download. One is the Kindle Fire uh, HD ADB drivers, uh, which I have here on my desktop. Uh, you basically open it up and there is a, uh, an executable and you run that after you've connected the device and once you've run that you'll notice in your device manager that uh, you have under the device manager Kindle Fire and then below that Android Composite ADB interface so that is necessary for the computer to pick up on it. Now from here uh, it's basically just a matter of opening up a command prompt and uh, you'll need to go to wherever your uh, Android SDK folder is. Mine just happens to be on my root, so I will go there. And then inside Platform Tools. Uh, the other file, I, I apologize, I, I digress here for a moment. Um, the other file that you need is the uh, Super User, uh, and there will be links to both of these in the video description. Inside this file, is uh, actually just extract this whole thing and uh, take, and I'll just do, go ahead and do it, and I'll just extract it to my desktop. All right, so you'll notice I've got uh, in here now a system folder, and inside system there's an app, and I need that, and then there's a bin, and I need the SU. So I need SU, and I need super user, and they need to copy both of those files to the platform tools folder, and so I'll just go into mine real quick and show you that uh, those two files exist here. And uh, they have to exist in the same folder as the ADB uh, executable. So that, that's, that's the requirement here we're trying to get to. All right, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do this now. Um, the device is on, and uh, hopefully you realize that I have the device uh, in the middle here so you can kind of watch what happens to the device as you do the different settings. So I'm going to type in, just to make sure I'm set up correctly, ADB devices. And it should show you that your device is listed there. If you do this and no devices show up, uh, there's something wrong. It's a USB is not plugged in, or the driver is not installed correctly, or the Android SDK isn't installed correctly. Uh, please go back and review all those steps and do it again. Uh, you also have the ability of doing ADB kill server and then typing in ADB devices again that will relaunch the ADB server and uh, then your device may show up there then. Alright so let's uh, let's get going here. Uh, I'm going to type in ADB shell and you should get this prompt with the dollar sign. We're going to do rm space minus r space forward slash data forward slash local forward slash TMP. Enter. 
and then ln space minus s space forward slash data forward slash space forward slash data forward slash local forward slash temp. Okay, so then type in exit, takes you back to your prompt, ADB reboot. Now at this point the device will reboot and your computer indicates that uh, the device is no longer plugged in and we just sit here and we wait until it comes back up. I am impressed with the uh, quick boot up for the Kindle Fire so that's something that's kind of handy as we go along here. Now I did hear the little uh, bloop saying that my computer has recognized that the device is back uh, so I'm just going to type in ADB devices and it doesn't show up so we'll give it a minute here okay uh, I'm going to do ADB kill server and then ADB devices again still not there and that's fine uh, in some situations this can occur you just unplug your device and plug it back in and hopefully we get some success here it might take a moment there it is. Okay, it, it is a little finicky on my own machine. It may be also on yours. So just be patient and know that as you go through the different reboots, uh, you are going to want to uh, uh, look for it to show back up in the ADB devices. Uh, could be a power issue, could be a flaky cable. Uh, just know that before you go to the next step, you have to see the device there. So on to the next step, ADB shell. Let's type in echo space. R O dot kernel dot Q E M U equals one close greater than space data local prop. Okay, and enter. So it's done that, and we type in exit and ADB reboot. So this is the second reboot. I'm going to uh, clear my screen here so we can get back up to the top. And I'm going to type in ADB devices, doesn't show, ADB kill server. Actually, while after I kill the server, I'm going to unplug, plug it back in. Okay, still a little flaky here. Like I said, be patient with it. Sometimes mm. it takes a minute. All right, now we're back in business. Time for the home stretch here. Well, at least uh, the, the main part. ADB shell. Okay, notice that my prompt is now a, uh, a pound sign, a number sign, as opposed to the dollar sign. That's a good indication that we're on the right path. Uh, so we're going to push su uh, forward slash system forward slash xbin forward slash su. All right. Uh, I guess it helps if I type it correctly here. It's actually... I forgot the step. I forgot to mount it. So let's go back. I'm going to exit. Okay. ADB shell space mount space minus O space remount comma RW space forward slash system 
Enter. Okay. ADB push SU space forward slash system forward slash X bin forward slash SU. Okay, now if for some reason this step didn't work for you and you didn't see that it pushed uh, 4,371 kilobytes to this directory, it means that you did not put the SU file in the platform tools folder. So keep that in mind. If this step doesn't work, you didn't put the file in the right spot. All right, next step is ADB shell. And let's change some permissions here. System. Okay. Chmod. Okay, then rm data local crop remove exit adb reboot. Okay. And your device is rebooting. When your device comes back up, you are rooted. So the device itself is going to be rooted once it comes back up. Mm -hmm. The last step for you is to install the super user APK. Now, super user APK, as most of you have probably seen on other devices, is the magic file that allows other programs to access root on your behalf. So you're basically granting those apps super user access uh, to the system folders, and that's a very important thing. So I'm going to do a little CLS here and get back to the top of my screen. ADB devices. Of course, it's not there. ADB kill server. And again, I'm, I'm jumping the gun a bit here. I'm, I'm sure that the device is uh, uh, just taking its merry time trying to get reconnected. I like it when you guys see when things don't work perfectly for me uh, because it indicates that, uh, you know, there are going to be little quirks. Different people have different system issues and whatnot. Um, it, it's not always going to be perfect for everybody. And there we have it. There it is. ADD install. Whoop, helps to spell it correctly. Install superuser.apk. All right. Now, notice that mine says failure because it already exists. That's because my device already has this file. It's already rooted. Uh, at this point, you're done. Uh, your device is rooted. And uh, basically all you would need to do is uh, go in, uh, superuser.apk uh, will be there installed. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, going in and putting in something that needs root. And uh, you'll see the very generic and standard grant access like you're used to. Um, I guess it's possible that I could remove this and then go back into it. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. And we hit allow. And there we have it. And maybe a couple more times. So what does this mean now that we're rooted? Uh, what can we actually do with this now that we're rooted? Uh, the, the question is, uh, it's up to you. And uh, Remember that rooting your device uh, typically void your warranty um, uh, or at least uh, is potential to cause uh, some issues. Uh, you have the potential to cause some uh, irreparable damage to the device in terms of what they call the brick. Uh, you know, you're, you're playing with uh, the unknown here. Uh, does this mean that you can load some other type of uh, system like CyanogenMod uh, 9 or 10 or something in the future? It's possible. Uh, there are some things that still need to be done. But uh, this is the step we needed to get to first. And uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Sparky M3 for uh, coming up with this exploit, uh, the original exploit from the Transformer Prime uh, the ice cream sandwich that allowed us to do this. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, uh, Justin Case and Hashcode for uh, dealing with me on uh, IRC today and getting this to this point. Uh, it was a collaboration 
of efforts and uh, my, my Kindle Fire feels very special being the first one ever rooted uh, and now the rest of you can do it as well uh, if you have any questions about this or any other uh, items please visit my website reverendkyle.com uh, or find me on whatever forums I'm on uh, alright well that's it this has been Reverend Kyle showing you how to root the Amazon Kindle Fire HD.